In this video, uh, let me discuss about this vessel, which is uh, 15,000 ton displacement. Km is uh, 7.5 meter, kg is uh, 6 meter, and she is listed 4 degree to port. Well, we can find initial list moment, which is W into Gm into 10 theta. This formula has been derived from this 10 theta is equal to uh, list moment divided by W into Gm. So list moment is uh, W into Gm into 10 theta. So here the Gm is uh, 7.5 minus 6 that is 1.5 and W is 15,000 and 10 theta is 4 degree so we get uh, this 1573 decimal 4 10 meter and towards port side. Let us understand that uh, this vessel is having a heavy lift cargo which is uh, 5 meter from the center line towards port side. Well, this is port side and this is starboard side and the weight of cargo is uh, quite heavy. This is 150 ton. The head of uh, crane, the ship's gear is 20 meter from keel. Now the distance or uh, the center of gravity of this weight from keel is 4 meter. So this distance is uh, 4 meter. As soon as the weight is picked up by crane, what happens? It will act at the head of derrick. And this will shift this will shift the center of gravity. Suppose the center of gravity was here, which was uh, 6 meter. The center of gravity will uh, shift upward from G to G1 in this direction. In this direction, it is going to uh, shift upward. The formula is a GG1 is equal to W into D divided by WF. Here, WF is the final weight. In case of shift, there is no change so it is also equal to initial weight that is capital W and the D is a kg1 minus kg2. Let me explain this further. Suppose the center of gravity in this vertical line, let us uh, consider only the vertical movement, it is g1 here and g2 here. So the vertical distance from g1 to g2 like this. So this is the distance D. Well we can easily calculate this is 150 the weight and a G1 that is distance from keel to uh, or G2 uh, that is uh, 20 meter actually this is kg2 and kg1 is 4 the, this is D is the difference difference of the center of gravity at one place and center of gravity at second place of the cargo shifted so 150 into 20 minus 4 because this is 4 meter here this one is 4 meter so we get a 0 0.16 well the kg1 will be this is kg and kg1 so kg1 will be the addition and i can write like this that the kg1 is uh, kg plus gg1 which is 6.16 km was given as a 7.5 meter so we can calculate 1.16 three four meter gm that is the difference between kg1 and km this gm is actually is a new gm now assume the weight is just lifted and almost at original position that means the list movement cost is zero and initial list movement which uh, we had uh, calculated uh, is 1573.4 ton meter towards port so obviously the final list movement uh, will be a same now we need to calculate list and that's very uh, easy the list will be final list movement divided by wf which is final weight into gmf so wf is 15000 nothing no change gmf we have just calculated because the weight is acting that it has gone up weight is uh, acting that gg1 has uh, uh, increased so the gm we have calculated is as 1.34 let me just come down so 
theta is uh, 4.4759 or simply I can write 4.48 degree. Now the naming since final list movement is towards port side. So the list is also towards port side. It should be interesting that initial list was 4 degree to port. However, as the weight is picked up list has increased towards port side only. So from 4 degree it has become 4.48 degree. Now let us consider another uh, scenario. The weight is swung to starboard. So initially weight was at this location. A weight was at this location but now weight is swung like this. Here the list movement caused is 150 which is weight and distance uh, uh, shifted in a horizontal direction well this distance is 5 meter and this distance is 15 meter so the total distance is 20 meter we have a list movement of 3000 turn meter towards the starboard now initial list movement initial list movement uh, already we had calculated which is uh, which was 1573.4 turn meter towards port so the final list movement is 1426.6 starboard we need to subtract see this is the starboard list movement 3000 and this is the port list movement so the resultant is the starboard list movement well weight is still hanging and it is acting at the head of the derrick so we can say uh, gm is uh, 1.34 as usual let's calculate the list which is final list movement divided by wf into gmf final list movement i had calculated 1426.6 divided by 15000 into 1.34 so we get theta is equal to this much or simply 4.06 degree starboard let's analyze initially the list was 4 degree then it has increased to uh, more than 4 degree however when the weight is shifted in this direction uh, list has changed to starboard as the weight was hanging uh, kg1 was 6.16 meter which we had calculated and now the weight is discharged from this location so we will have this formula gg1 is equal to w into d which is 150 into d is the kg of the ship and kg of the weight so kg of the ship is there and kg of the weight means the weight was hanging at the head of Derek so that is 20 so this uh, gives me this number well kg2 that is new kg here will be 6.02 and the km is given so in the new gm will be 1.48 let me just explain here now the weight assume that weight is discharged from this location weight is discharged from this location and kg of the ship is this one so that is the difference that is the d we had need to calculate so as the weight was hanging like this uh, the final list movement in the previous case was 1426.6 ton meter starboard so uh, from this second stage this will be the initial uh, list movement and now the list movement caused because we discharge something from center line we discharge and we put it on the jt here so the final list movement will be 150 into 15 uh, that is 2250 turn meter towards port so it means that the final list movement will be one uh, sorry 823.4 turn meter towards port uh, from port side we need to subtract this starboard so we get this final list uh, movement well the final displacement is uh, uh, since weight is discharged that is 15,000 minus 150 so we get this final displacement this uh, gg1 we need to work out again 150 minus the weight kg of the ship is uh, 6 and kg of the weight is 4 and the final weight is 14850 so we get 0 0.02 meter and since the weight is discharged from the bottom g g1 it will arise g is here g g1 here and weight is discharged from this location so it is going to increase and we get 6.02 meter so the gm will be 1.48 that is 
we just discharge from this location without considering where the weight was hanging we get gm as 1.48 after discharge if you remember we had also calculated uh, this final gm uh, by considering that the weight was hanging at the head of the derrick and we discharge we get the same value 1.48 uh, list 10, 10 theta is equal to final list moment divided by WF into GMF. Well, uh, final list moment is uh, 823.4. Let me just go up. Yeah, 823.4 turn meter and divided by final displacement, which was uh, 14850 and GM, which is 1.48 so we get this 2.146 degree and now we need to see where is the final list moment the final list moment is towards port side so the list is towards the port side so let's summarize the weight was initially here and the vessel was listed toward port as the weight is uh, hanging the weight will come at the head of derrick vessel will list further to port uh, from 4 degree to uh, uh, something more slightly more than 4 degree however when the weight is swung like this the west the list will be towards the starboard and which was around uh, uh, 4 degree something however as the weight is discharged uh, the vessel will swung again to port by 2 degree around 